So, fun stuff for Ty Lue as he faces the Boston Celtics. A ball club that he worked for for four years under Doc Rivers. And he says it was a no-brainer to go with Doc to L.A. in the summer of 2013 when he left Boston. In the backcourt, a couple of Tacoma, Washington guys who played AU ball growing up together. Isaiah Thomas, Avery Bradley, Jay Crowder, talked about him. Up front with Amir Johnson, good on the offensive glass especially. And Jared Sullinger, the one-time Buckeye. Lost some weight in the offseason, courtesy John Lucas as they worked a lot together. And we'll talk about that later in the broadcast. Look what they've done over the last eight games as they're averaging 109 points a game in that stretch. Four. Now the fourth youngest head coach in the NBA, Brad Stevens, has won 94 games. Ty Lue, by the way, the second youngest in the league. As is Stevens. As his team thinking about the, getting up that ladder in the Eastern Conference playoff chase. As I mentioned, tied for third coming in. Our Elkanel Kins report, Jordan Mickey, who's been uh, an all-star at the D-League level this year, out with a sprained ankle. They really like him. Had a triple-double with blocks earlier this season. And Matthew De La Badova out again for the second game in a row with the left hamstring issue. So hopefully we'll see him tomorrow night, perhaps against New Orleans here in a rare back-to-back -back home game set for the Cavaliers. As you get a look at Crowder, having his best year as a pro, and you got to guard him. Yes, you do. Brad, he, he, he will fool you because he's sneaky offensive, I call him. He can definitely put the ball in the basket if you let him stay open. But the, this is going to be a situation where the Cavs have to understand. The Celtics are coming in here thinking they have our number. you got to teach them what it's all about tonight. This is a, a big boy game tonight. They've had success over the last several years here, winning six of the last eight. But... When LeBron came back home, of course, it was a different story and swept them in the playoffs, as you know, and won the first game this regular season. So the Cavs have won five straight, including the postseason. As the Cavs wear their navy blues, Boston in their green is wearing away. Glad you're born here on Fox Sports Ohio. Here comes Kyrie, turn the corner against Bradley, their best perimeter defender. Usually guards Kyrie in this matchup. Thomas looking way up at J.R. Smith. J.R. sends it, and buries a tough three. My goodness, right off the bat, J.R. Smith sends us a message. Here comes Sullinger. Bradley, much improved shooter as his career has gone on, and he knocks it down. One time teammate of Tristan Thompson in high school in Las Vegas. Yeah, he's a tough customer. Plays hard defensively and pretty good offensive player. Kevin Love, cut off by Amir Johnson. There again. Oh, that was easier that time, and he drained it again. Isn't it amazing? You move the basketball, you get good shots. They are off to a good start. So it's 6 2, good guys. Boston coming off a win over Detroit. Bradley, very active, went for the score, missed it. Sullinger trying to clear it up. Quick. Rebound to Kevin Love. Yes, pushing it. Early offense. Jair feeling it. Rebound in the hands of Kevin Love. Bounce toss back to Jair. That was a heat check. Nothing wrong with that. That's right. Kevin Love, a real mouse in the house. Here's he's got Isaiah Thomas inside. LeBron James was fouled at the top. Nice cut off the ball. Well, that is what I like about the Cavaliers starting to spread the floor and, and read what's going on. Now, that wasn't really a setup play, but because the ball was, was the floor was spread, LeBron saw the double team by Johnson, so he attacked the basket and he gets the foul. Read what's going on in front of you. That's how you play the game. As LBJ sticks the first of two. Has averaged about 29 points a game lifetime against these guys. Second best against any opponent. Perfect rotation there. So the first two and an 8-2 Cavalier early lead. Austin comes in the ball game 14 and 12 on the road. Isaiah Thomas, a little bit of space, couldn't get it to go. Tough rebound for Kevin Love. Not easy to do against Amir Johnson. Rolls out of bounds off LBJ as he went behind the back. Celtics force more turnovers than anybody in the league. And they're second in steals. That's why you got to be careful with the ball with this team. 
Thomas flared out. Thomas falling away. Couldn't get it to go. We got a pushing foul on Amir Johnson. Cavs get it off that loose ball foul. Doing a good job of walling off Thomas so far. Not letting him have that penetration to the basket where he can get into the seams. Be sure to keep him going to the sideline. Amir Johnson already picks up his second foul, and Brad Stevens is going to roll the dice with him here. And Kyrie gets it back to Love, sends it, and hits it for three. Cavalier is off to an 11-2 getaway. If you're going to play the high pick and roll, if you're going to sink back in, that's going to leave Love open all evening. Near steal by LBJ, trying to get to it, does! Inside with muscle and might! Cavaliers defense paying off. It's, not, it's just the best way to play defense. Use it as a weapon. LeBron James playing the passing lane all the way to the hoop. Sitting right there in the passing lane. Too strong for Bradley to the hoop opportunity for three points. Just brute strength. Just Bradley is tenacious on the ball, and he just couldn't get there. Thirteen two. That was like Joe Thomas against a scat back. Here comes Isaiah Thomas. Jonas Jurepko off the bench. Inside. In offensive foul drawn by Kayla. A good job of taking one for the team. The Cavaliers were squirming on defense. Love gets caught in a compromising position, so he goes right to the front of the rim because Jurepko is hit it that way. Takes one for the team. Cavaliers get the possession. That's called knowing your personnel, getting to the spot before Jarepko could get in there, and he will dive to the hole and also could spread the floor shooting the three. J.R. Smith lost the handle. Here comes Isaiah Thomas in the open floor and fouled. Yeah, the pass was to the inside. J.R. was expecting it to the outside. So the Cavalier miscue. And again, this team loves turnovers because they don't have a lot of guys that can run a lot. I mean, their guards and their forward and, and the three will run, but the other two guys don't run, so they have to use the pass. That's the way the Celtics' old teams used to run it. But another, using the pass is fast break. Excuse me, I see another offensive foul, another turnover for Brad Stevens' club. Well, they don't have a lot of rim protection, so to be as good defensively as they are, they have to do it in other ways. Yeah, they have to play good good body position all the time. You can see the, the push-off right there by Bradley. So Bradley picks up his second foul now. Crowder up on LeBron. Cavs trying to add more to this lead. Loving his drip coat. Wants a cleared floor. Takes it inside. Oh, 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 some love handles here at the queue and a timeout for Boston. Love cleared him out, and then he took him straight to the basket and threw the hammer down. I think Jarepko was thinking that Kevin was going to maybe go to the lane because he cleared out that side and he maybe fooled him. You yeah. think? He got him the bird, where <laughs> A Swedish variety. 15 <laughs> 2 Cavaliers on this quick getaway. Well, J.R. Smith with a quick start, actually a two and a three more than a second, but uh, he was asked today about being left out of the long-distance shootout at All-Star Weekend, even though he's number 14 all-time, and J.R. smartly took the high road. I might take the Marshawn Lynch approach on this one. I'm just here so I don't get fined, but uh, I got a lot to say about it, but I'm not going to say anything because it's not going to help it, so... Like he says, hey, we're number one in the East. It's about wins and losses. This one was now rule a two during the timeout, of course, reviewing. So properly so. So jr has got five, but he's got a chance, AC, to set a career record in three-point percentage. His best coming in was 403, and he sits at 396 at the start of tonight's play. Yeah, I just don't see how they can leave him out of the competition, Fred. Sullinger using his strength, puts it down, and he's fouled. Now they're going to say on the floor, yeah, again, as a defensive player, I don't know what they expect you to do. If you look at this, what's going on, he's the aggressive here. All Trishan is trying to do is hold his position, but he gets called for the foul. So no and one, foul before the shot. Sullivan on the ISO, hooked it home. 
Kind of line driving home, Jared Sillinger. And with that big body, he gets a lot of space. He was over 300 pounds last year, lost a fair amount over the summer. In daily workouts over 11 weeks with next camp coach John Lucas. As J.R. Smith will get to the free throw line. Well, what I like about so far, the Cavaliers are focusing on Thomas. Whenever he switches, because they switch a lot, they go right to the mismatch right away and try to post him up. And so far, it's been working. Cavaliers in the bonus with almost eight minutes left in the quarter. So you're saying they're they're trying to invite that switch. Well, right. Well, see, a lot of teams, even the Cavs do it, they switch for no reason at all. And that really puts you in a bad a defensive position. A discount rug mark, and the Cavs are teaming up to offer two customers the chance to be the ultimate fan. You can win two tickets to Fan Appreciation Night and get an autographed pair of shoes or a jersey from a player. Enter at the cosmetics counter of any Northern Ohio discount drug mart by February 6th. But Thomas will fight you. In fact, his uh, high school coach recently said the reason he's an all-star, why he's gotten this way, is because he's stubborn. <laughs> and he means that as a high compliment. He yeah. just has always been told he couldn't do certain things, and here he is headed to Toronto for the All-Star game. A great story at 5-9. Drepko has three-point range. He has done a good job under Ty Lewis defending the three-point line. Some here to take a tough fadeaway. You can see they're slowing their whole offense down, trying to get the ball to Sutton because he's not passing it. And that gives the Cavaliers an advantage. Good catch by JR on the block against Thomas. 6-6 six, six against 5-9. And a hooking foul assessed to JR. Could you tell? No, yeah, it didn't look like it to me. No, right, right, right there, yeah, the arms. Yep. Yeah, and see, you got to know he has to know his personnel. You didn't have to do that against him. All you got to do is turn your body, a guy that small, and just shoot over top of him. So, second foul for J.R. Smith, third player to pick up a second foul in the first five minutes of this ball game. The referees are trying to call it. They split made the call. He's the two chief tonight. Some good backing down. Third post up. Thompson made him give it up. Jay Crowder bricks Ooh. a three ball. That was a definite brick. Here comes Kyrie, cut up by a lot of green shirts. Boston really defends well. Have all season. Kyrie drew a crowd. LeBron got it back. Now they got to go to work five to shoot. Looking for Kevin Love against Crowder. Instead over Drepko. Rims it out to Bradley. Yeah, that was a waste of possession here. LeBron Shepard out there, you saw. There's Thomas, front iron it. Sullinger, strong boy, couldn't finish it off! Cavs got a break, and they get the ball. Wow, the ball slipped out of his hand as he was trying to elevate to make the shot, and it got caught in the palm of his hand, yep. and he didn't have enough on it to get it up there. But Sullinger having his best year as a rebounder at this level, eight and a half a game. Well, he knows how to use his body for yeah, it. sure does. And, and that's so important in this league, similar to what Love does as a rebounder. LeBron James against Crowder, using his strength, step back. Thompson a rebound. Won the duel. Boy, he and Sullinger really going hammer and tone. Kyrie spins away from trouble. For the open look. Oh, which way did I go? I went to the left this time. Kyrie with the jump shot. Here comes Isaiah Thomas using either hand very well. Bradley high arcing three. So Avery Bradley has five. Back the other way. Carry Army off of Boston Make. That's the way the Cavaliers want to run. Get the ball out even on Makes and attack the basket. It's got to be deflating, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. After you, you know, sit and admire your work on the offensive end. Thomas getting a lot of attention, as he certainly did last postseason. Soldier spins inside, and a sh shuffling in the shoes gives it back to the Cavaliers. Another Boston turnover. Good defensive effort by the Cavaliers, helping each other out. Kyrie doing a good job. Nice spin move. Which way did he go? To the left. Yes. This time, he dots the eye. You hear some boos already. Kelly Olenek getting ready to check in. Kyrie in traffic. 
Double team. Shepard set his feet. Rebound to Jarepko. Marcus Smart getting ready to check in along with Evan Turner. Thomas, perpetual motion, split the D, drew contact, and finished it off. He did a good job of getting into the body of yeah. the defender. Learned that at a very early age. Kevin Love wanted to post up Bradley. A defensive three-second violation. Now here comes Kelly Olenek, and listen. And I'm sure he expected that. Nobody in this town will forget the uh, yanking of the uh, arm. And the feeling of it being unnecessary. More moves for a little. And he's not, he's not a, that kind of player. He just got caught up in the moment. Yeah. And boy, they're letting him have it. Well, the Cavs need to use this as a momentum to, to have another, get on another run. Not that they would ever boo in Boston, right? <laughs> <laughs> Kyrie fights it up. Rebound to Jarepko in traffic. Cavaliers by nine. I guess spread has been 12. Stolen by the Cavaliers off the deflection. Yeah, Shumpert read that one well. They got an open four foul on Boston. They closed that passing lane on Thomas immediately on that play. But Shump really jumped that passing lane, as we call it. You're right. You can see him. He, he, you can see the lane right there. He and Love both were waiting for that pass to be made. So Shepard long on the first. He has will face New Orleans here tomorrow night, 7 o'clock with the pregame on Cavaliers Live. Then Monday, we get a look at the vastly improved Sacramento Kings. And on Wednesday, Kobe makes his final visit to Northeast Ohio. And again, all these games on Fox Sports Ohio. That'll be fun on Wednesday nights. Yes. Olenek will get booed every time he touches it. You know that. And he's been shooting the three ball very well. Olenek against a fellow Canadian. Tristan Thompson who shut his water off. Ball goes out of bounds to whom Kevin O'Ball. Double T doing a good job of fighting two guys that time. Cavaliers get the possession. So Tristan with the rejection. He and Olenek have known each other since their uh, formative years in the Toronto area. Yeah, he, he's a pretty crafty guy for his size. Oh, yeah. You got to be, you got to respect this game. His dad was a longtime uh, coach in Toronto. In fact, he was one time a, a guest coach of Lenny Wilkins when Lenny was the head coach of the Raptors. That's really where Olenek at the age of 11 learned to love basketball. LeBron James switched the left hand and tipped it in. He went Moses Malone on him. Yes, he did. Back them down, one-on-one -on -one in the low post. Moses, the late Moses of Loma, famous for that, tipping in his own miss. Here comes LeBron off the steal. Going downhill, gets to the rack with ease. Right down, Euclid, he went 25-11. Being on the attack mode, the Cavaliers using defense to turn offense. Oh, Linick almost walks. Thomas drew that foul. Amon Shepard got him. Good solid defense by the Cavaliers. And what I like about it, they are looking to attack. When they get turnovers, even after miss made baskets, they're looking to attack this team in open floor. So Isaiah Thomas steps the line, making the all-star game. His dad just walked around the house saying, that's my son. That's my son. <laughs> he was so thrilled. Last time an under six foot player made the all-star game right here. Yep, Terrell Brennan at 5'11", the ex-Cavalier. That was the year, of course, that the All-Star game was held at the gun. He had 10 points that particular night. One of the more uh, popular players, as you fans know, in Cavalier lore. Yeah, he so was one of the best point guards we've, we've ever brought out of here. Yep. I mean, he and Mark Price is like right up there. Yeah, Wayne Embry knew a little bit of, about uh, point guards, didn't he? As, uh, yeah. Thomas at 5'9". In fact, he's the smallest All-Star since Calvin Murphy back in the uh, 70s. Wow. But he said, if, it, if I wasn't 5'9", it wouldn't even be an issue whether I should make the All-Star game or not. He, he might be right, but he did make it. Here comes see, LeBron. The I defense guess. is all sliding to LeBron. Somebody's got a cut. Good move by Mo. Mo off the bench. Sends it. Too firm. Still trying to get his rhythm back. Ty Lue knows that. It's going to take some time. Thomas, race horse basketball. LeBron Ooh, James. He his ankle. Get everything to block it. 
And Thomas really hobbling. It, it looked like he twisted his ankle when he went to, he made, made a misstep when he went to plant his foot to make the layup. Wow, trying to walk it off right now. And some real concern in Boston right now as Isaiah Thomas needs a little bit of help to come to the bench. But LBJ knew he had missed it. First one to tap it. And then a much easier variety for two. Back to the queue where the Cavs lead the Celtics by 12 here in the first quarter. He was the 2010 National Player of the Year, having played just three seasons for the Ohio State Buckeyes. And in less than two weeks, he'll be honored. Let's check out three things you need to know about Evan Turner, brought to you by Hyundai. Evan's number 21 will be raised to the Raptors in the Schottenstein Center on February 16th. Evan said before the game, it has yet to sink in, that his number will be just the one of the fifth in school history to be retired. Excuse me, joining Jerry Lucas, Jimmy Jackson, John Hubblecheck, and of course, Gary Bratz. And ironically, the opponent will be the Michigan Wolverines, who, if you remember, Turner beat in the 2010 Big Ten Tournament with that 35-foot buzzer-beating three-pointer. Guys, I'm gonna go on to bet that our producer, Brent Bellini, does not forget that shot. No, I'm sure he's got it on his screensaver, as a matter of fact. Off the knockaway, here comes Marcus Smart. Off the hand of Olenek. Like he had a boxing glove on. Cavaliers get it back. Good, again, good defense in the transition. That is a solid, solid effort by the Cavaliers. Forced them to have to make quick decisions. Tyler Zeller on the floor, been playing more of late. Kind of been in and out of the rotation. Just because of sheer numbers. Kevin Love called for it against Olenek. First head-to-head -head matchup, Olenek. Bodied up, and the ball goes out of bounds. 3.1 on the shot clock. Allie mentioned, of course, the uh, five jerseys retired. Interestingly, John Havlicek was the only one who's not National Player of the Year in that group. Ball stolen by Smart down the floor. Jarepko, a good runner. And the smart foul by Noah Williams says you're going to have to earn it at the free throw line. Yeah, and that's a good veteran move there. The, the Timo's got to get those passes. Turns into a turnover. Mo says, no, 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 no. You're going to have to make that at the foul line. Good veteran move there. Drepko, a 73% free throw. Like Anderson Verjao had to fight back from an Achilles tear early in his career. Hey, the Big East is playing some of the best basketball in the nation with three teams in the top 25. And tomorrow, Marquette takes on Trevon Blewett and number six, Xavier. It's all at noon Eastern on FS1, sponsored by Jeep Grand Cherokee. Be ready for anything. The winner throws at 25-15. Mo Williams, did range it. Got some air under that and hit it. Yep, Mo Williams, the one thing you cannot do with Mo is sink back off of the pick and roll. He will dot your eye every time. Here comes the limit. Had to give it up. Drip go on the weak side. Evan Turner, very crafty with the ball, trying to get to the rim. Stopped on a dime block by Mazga. Got just enough of it. Here comes Mo. Trying to push that pace. He has a very good offensive start. Kevin Love, they forgot about him. Missed a shot, though, and winces as he heads down the floor, saying, I got to make that one. Yeah, he knew that was a wide open attempt there. Turner. Zeller off his sweet spot. Knocked away by Mazga. And Shepard has got his hand on that one also. Here comes Mo inside. He nasty. He absolutely put him in cement boots. Mo Williams tricked him that time. Back the other way, though. Zeller scores. Yeah. Tyler could always run the floor. Yep. Showed signs of that as a cab. Yeah, Shepard got his hand on that ball and they took off to the races. 29-17. Ten to shoot. Strung out by Zeller. Moskov on the give up. Kevin Love on a reload. Buries it for three. Make it up for the other miss. He's got an eight point quarter. That was good pass by Timo to Love in the corner. Well, the Cavaliers moving that rock here in the first quarter. Up by 15. Marcus Smart knocks down the three ball. Well, that's when he's really improved. Sure has. Although just 27% from the floor, but you're right. He's become a three-point threat. Love again. And that will finish a very efficient and highly energized first quarter for the home team. The crowd into it. The line and golders into it.
Wanting to send a little message to the Bean Towners. If we see in the postseason, beware. 32-20, winning goalers by 12 after one. Cavaliers by 12. Just a reminder, as you enjoy a cold, we'll look forward to Miller time later in tonight's game. Brought to you by Miller Lights. And uh, certainly Cavaliers defense could be a part of this story. Holding Boston to 41% shooting in the first quarter. Cavs at 57%. As Mo Williams stays out there now with Kyrie Irving. This is what you talked about at the beginning of the season. Yes. That we would see at times Kyrie and Mo together on the floor. And, and I think that works well because Mo can orchestrate the offense and that a turn Kyrie a loose. Richard Jefferson, Timo Fimazgoff, Iman Shepard fill out the five. Bradley catch and shoot. Great concentration. Yeah, Kyrie was right there. He had defended any better, but Bradley drained it. He too, like Marcus Smart, has become a three-point threat for them. 32-23. Smart, very good physical defender. Kyrie had to will it up though. They've got Olenek, Zeller, Bradley, Turner, and Smart out there. Tyler Zeller. Left-handed hook, and it goes. Zeller admits early in the season, he put himself in a rough spot of not getting a lot of playing time. Wasn't ready for it, and now starting to get some more playing time. You can tell his confidence is really there now. And he likes that little uh, push-hook shot across the middle. Had a 16-10 and 10 game recently against New York. Austin gets his back within seven. Ball swing along the perimeter. Jefferson. High hopping. And scored it. Stayed with it. Doing a good job of being aggressive to the basket. Somebody on the Cavaliers side yelled and one. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but he got to two instead. 34-25. Smart. Looked off. And did not get the bounce. Cleaned off by Mazga. Cavs. Will not make another trip to Boston in the regular season as Olympic steals, chased by Jefferson, who splattered it! But a foul, I believe it is, on RJ, but the crowd nonetheless loving the fact that Olympic didn't get a chance to smash it. You're right. Out on the fast break, Jefferson says, oh, wait a minute, that was a good play. He didn't, oh yes, that was a good play. Got the arm after the uh, rejection. Oh, no. We're all looking at it now. They're incensed. But right there, not allowing the follow through. So, Olenek at the line for two. As he hits the first, take another look at it. Ball there, but then... Yeah, right there at the end is what they're calling. Not allowing him to actually follow through on the shot. So Olenek a pair. I think we've got a night-long theme there every time yeah. <laughs> Olenek touches the ball. But I'm sure he expected it. Seven-point gap. Shepard in the weave. Dealing with Turner. Now Turner switches out on JR. Pounding it. They're pounding too much. Yep, lost the basketball. That was a turnover winning. It happened. Off the deflection. Kyrie looked to the clock. The clock is reset. He has got a break there. Jefferson pumps. Rebound. J.R. Smith enough for Shepard to get it. He has very active in the ball game. Shepard faked the pass. Then goes inside. Offensive foul. Something that Tyler Zeller learned at a very early age through high school drills. Remember, as a Cavalier, drew a lot of offensive well, fouls. This this place tells me the Cavs are hyped up. They really started getting too excited that time. Instead of making that pass, he should have made that pass to Moskov and got it back. Zeller on high, hits it. So the ex cav with six, giving them a boost. And Boston creeps within five. Yeah, they, they fought back in the ball game. Cavs have to continue to keep the mistakes down. Keep the turnovers down. Yeah, because they forced nine, but they have eight mistakes themselves. And this is a 12-2 response for the visitors as they weather the early storm. Mentioned Toronto's club. 
defending the three-point line well since he took over 33 percent as the uh, efficiency rate for opposing teams outside the arc. Well, you, you have to keep bodies in front of people. JR sets an oh. edge. JR starting back off where he left when he went out with fouls, but he's back in the ball game, deep in the queue. 36 29 goes back to seven. They are chasing. Bradley elevates. Uh -huh. Rebound to Shepard. Jazz got out rebounded badly in Charlotte. Want to make amends for that tonight. They've been one of the best rebounding teams in the league. Number three coming in. Irving dancing. And hitting! Kyrie, he got him on the island that time. When you get on the island with Kyrie, you're in trouble. He dots the eye. 38-29, sometimes no way off that island. No. Here comes Turner on the touch toss. Zeller showing and going. Turner run off the spot by his old buddy, Iman Shepard. They go back to the middle school days when they became friends outside Chicago. Pass intended for Jefferson, got there. Almost stolen by Olenek. Jefferson takes him inside, a bump and a bucket. There's the end one. Moving the basketball. Kyrie drew the two men to him. He goes back to Jefferson. Jefferson gets a driving lane, takes advantage of it. Opportunity for a three-point play. What kind of grade would you give the Cavs tonight for body movement, ball movement? Oh, right now they have an A for it because they're moving the ball well and bodies well also. Professor Carr in session. <laughs> Sports Ohio is brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. For over 30 Toyota offers, visit buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Beautiful view of our city. As the Cavs have been anything but flat here in the ball game here tonight, leading 40-29. What are you seeing so far? Well, well Fred, to, to show you basketball one-on-one, -on -one, Shumpert is so good at this. He understands where his man and the ball are at all times. He already took a little peek to the right. He knew that passing lane was coming, and, and Isaiah accommodated him. Now watch this. Now the first thing he does here is he opens up to the play because his man, he's got his man, but he also sees where the ball is and he's able to get his hand on the ball for the steal. That is exactly textbook defense and how you're supposed to play it. And Chump always in the middle of it, making the offensive impact as Jefferson not able to finish off the end one. So RJ has four. Isaiah Thomas back out there. He went to the dressing room. I would presume to have that ankle rewrapped. He put on some low top shoes. Yeah, exactly. Pass behind Zeller. He changed shoes. Only you would know this, that. <laughs> why, why do you think he did? Because it, they had the, the tape. The tape probably was came up. He probably got tape all the way up to his socks. Right. And he needed something. He wanted to feel more mobile without having that cast of a of a taping job. Show no ill effects. Thomas, here comes Mozgov, taking his time, wants a double team, hooks, couldn't get it to go. Cavs by 11 again. Thomas has three turnovers, by the way. Evan Turner launching. Yeah, he's not a long-range shooter, but a very good mid-range shooter. He is, in fact, the last nine games, shooting 57% from the floor, 13 a game. And a... Nice little jumper, speaking of mid-range by Kyrie Irving. Well, again, off of the high pick and roll, they keep sinking back on him. And when he sees you sinking back, he just pulls up for the jump shot. That's just a read, isn't it? Yes, that's all it is, is a read. Zeller on high, front iron it. Easy rebound for Crowder. He walks. And a shuffling with shoes again, gives it back to the Cavs. So their 11th turnover major concern for Brad Stevens. Well, that, that's the Cavaliers are turning the table on them because they need the league in turnovers yep. for 17 a game. The Cavaliers already have 11. Boston also very good in opponent field goal percentage number four, but the Cavs shooting 59% right now. Kyrie feels it. That's the three ball. That's the last part of his game, really, to come back. And that's the uh, three ball. He's 25% coming in. He knows way better than that. Shot was missed by Crowder as he rushed it. Cavaliers in a hurry up. Shepard swings. JR. Swish for three. You can't get there in time. The ball moves faster than the foot. And that's where the Cavaliers are knocking him down. 45 31. They're 4 of 10 outside the arc. 
Thomas got hung up. Crowder puts it on the deck. And a block after the whistle. Kristen Thompson does that a lot, making sure that the uh, old Kevin Garnett trick works where you don't score after the whistle when it doesn't count. Yeah, Kyrie doing a good job of drawing all the defense to him and then swinging around the horn, and JR is waiting. And when you don't move the ball, those are the type of shots that JR does not get. And he is deadly with those catch and shoot shots. And that's where Kyrie can become lethal because he draws oh, yes. so much attention. Exactly. And right. when he kicks it out, you're going to have numbers in the half court. Looking for Zeller a lot. Hooks it home. Well, because it, you get a mismatch like that, you are smart enough to take advantage of it. So Zeller's got eight off the pine. Past the halfway mark of the quarter. JR wanted it against Bradley, didn't get it. LeBron James back out there. Well, but he had the right idea. He had a small man on him. Zip pass. JR. Shot to try to follow up. Could stayed after it, but Crowder comes down with it. Near steal by JR. Bradley gives it up to Turner. Unselfish play by the Celtics as the Cavs were hounding the ball. Yeah, they were on it. So give Turner four. But Isaiah Thomas so far just one field goal as again they're defending him well here tonight. Gary spins on Thomas. Sends it. And hits it. You get a little man in the house. What you do? You post him up. 47-35. Thomas back the other way. Draws the foul, tripping foul from Kyrie Irving. But the Cavaliers have come out with great energy here tonight, putting a lot of pressure on that Boston defense. So far, so good. Up 12 over the visitors. Eight for 11 points. He's got four assists already, too. Yeah, and that's the key, Fred. The four assists so important because the defense can't sit on him because he handles the ball so well that if he's giving that ball up, now the, the defenders don't know what to do because he can score it when he wants. He's bringing the energy brought to you by IGS Energy. You see his numbers so far in 15 glittering minutes. And Ty Lue continues to work with him and LeBron and the rest of the guys in terms of not too much isolation. They want to break away from that. And it's so tough because when you do have that ability to break people down and are two of the best in the league at it, like a James Harden, it's sometimes hard to wean yourself off that. Right. Well, right. It, 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 it's going to come down to this to me. In a high pick and roll situation, you have time. When you don't, when you're not in a high pick and roll situation, you can't hold the, hold the ball more than two seconds. More than two seconds, you throw the whole play out of whack. So you have to have some kind of principles to keep the ball moving. High pick and roll, though, you're free to do what you want to do. 47-37, Kevin Love tripped by Crowder. First foul on Crowder. Because I would imagine San Antonio is probably a half a second or a second as far as when you get, when, you, when to get rid of the ball. Yeah, like Pop's rule, I was told one time, is, is 0 .5. Yes. If you hold it longer than 0 .5, yes. you're going to hear it. And if you do it too many times, you're coming out the game. Yep. Pass deflected out of, into the hands of Bradley. Well, Pop has a stopwatch over there or not. <laughs> they probably don't need one. Well, they play that way so much, it's easy to figure it out. Crowder elevates. Didn't get it. Remember, he came out of Marquette. Known like Jimmy Butler, just as a defender, and has made himself an offensive threat. Not as much as Butler. Inside, coming up too hard. Oh, my goodness. Was right at the rim. That was a point-blank shot there. Thomas, jitterbugging, trying to get to the hole. Splattered by LeBron James. Everybody was waiting for that one. <laughs> trying to get another post-up against Bradley. Deflected by Crowder. Now the reset. Bounce. Oh, cutting yes. Thomas. Thompson, rather. Couldn't get it to go as Sullinger was defending. They read that play perfectly. Sure did. Here comes Bradley slashing. Oh. Tristan Thompson got a piece of it. Sullinger back up. No. Cavs defending at the point of attack. Boy, they are active tonight. Yes, they are. Well, they know they're being challenged. Kyrie sends it. And when you say that, you're talking about Ty Lue. Yes. And by the Celtics, of course. Defense! 
3.20 and ticking toward halftime. Turner whizzing his way inside. Nice move. Remember, he did so much of that for Thad Mata, especially his uh, third and final year. Basically running the offense. For the Buckeyes, 47-39. Kevin Love. Crowder went down. And we got a foul on Boston. Yeah. Trying to be a little too physical is Crowder. He's crowding. He is. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment. Crowd it. Crowd it. <laughs> Leading by eight over the persistent Boston Celtics. Biggest spread has been 15. Let's check our Wendy's game summary. As Kyrie Irving, we've talked about the, his start. He and J.R. Smith eat with 11 points. They're combined nine of 15 shooting, throwing Kyrie's four dimes. Meanwhile, Avery Bradley trying to keep his ball club afloat. He's tied for the scoring lead with Tyler Zeller with eight, and JR has been their money early on. Well, it's good to see the Cavaliers matching their energy in the backcourt. But that's Boston's strength is their backcourt, and the Cavaliers right now, the Cavaliers' backcourt outplaying the Celtics' backcourt. Yeah, to the tune of 22 to 14 in a starting role. Then we got an eight-point lead. That's exactly the difference in the game. Boy, you're dead on it again. <laughs> it's like you played this game before. <laughs> LeBron probing. But too much so. Out of bounds. Off the bounce. As Bill Spooner was right there. Spooner joined tonight by Steve Anderson. James Williams. Four replay officials working at Secaucus. He has it up five times in the quarter. Gary Johnson. Very good screen and roll. Sets that pick. Rolled and scored it. That was a good pass that time by Turner. So here Johnson gets on the score sheet. And they've worked their way back in the ball game. JR came to the ball. Turner attached. Really all over him. JR uses the dribble to escape. Shepard needs one to go. Couldn't get that three ball down. Here comes Thomas. Jumps had nine straight games of no double-figure scoring, but we know what he's been adding defensively. Throttle ripped it out. Ball knocked away. Out of bounds, and it belongs to the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers now let them back in the game. They got two minutes to try and get it to a double-digit lead going in the locker room. 10-2 Boston run. Six-point gap. Up top for Tristan Thompson behind him. And a Turner foul will put Tristan at the strike for a couple. When LeBron turned that corner, you could see that play right there. And there's no way that Turner could get around him. Oh, they're saying before. Actually, no shot is what Bill Spooner is saying. So it'll be side out. That was the intent. But he never was able to reel in the ball to be in the act of shooting. Yeah, coming up over the top, you can see he was fouling him because he knew that he was out of position, so he was trying to get an early foul in. 14 foul on Boston in the quarter. Cavs in three. Cavs are going to score those over four and a half minutes, though. That's like Boston right back in this thing. JR tries to end it. Cannot. And a similar situation against Chicago in the first quarter of the game here. A couple of weeks ago, and they went about six minutes without a point to close the quarter. Nice knock by Tristan Thompson. Shepard behind the back. Cavaliers three on two. LeBron taking his time in traffic. No, too hard. Rebound. Tristan Thompson back up. Consumed with a foul. Cavaliers took in the run, though. I like that. Attack the basket. They kind of did the little fifth grade move there. Everybody went to the ball. It says keep it separated. Look, it's too many people in there right now yep. to get something to happen for the positive side. So you want those wings to really spread yeah, out. Yeah, just spread out. If you don't get the ball, stay there. The defense has to make a decision when you stay there. Kansas yeah, seven steals in the first half. That's what they average per game. As Tristan has another one coming. He was 10 of his last 11 at the strike before that miss. And secure your place in line for 
2061 and Golden United membership. Make an initial payment, receive seats for next season and beyond, plus year-round benefits and members-only access. Call 800-820-CAVS or go to cavs.com slash enroll. Cavs basketball is presented by Discount Drug Mart. 48, 41, good guys. As they go back to defensive work, Suns are in pretty deep. Turning baseline this time, air mailed it into the hands of Kevin Love. Yeah, he, he, if you stay in front of him, it's making tough to make shots. LeBron James, and he drew that contact and a foul. If you stay in front of Sullinger, it makes it tough on him because he's got to horse you to get that shot off. He's 6'9", a little bit undersized for the position. He can't jump a lick, though, and, 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 and that, that's what hurts him in those plays. LeBron attacking the basket. Again, he can't jump. So LeBron just goes up and draws a foul. But I remember Sully, when he left Ohio State, after he had lost weight, he said, one thing I did not lose was my best friend. My backside. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and he knows how to use it, too. Yes, he does. <laughs> His father, Satch, of course, taught him very well. In fact, Sully committed to losing a ton of weight, as I mentioned earlier with John Lucas. So, Dad lost over 100 pounds. Wow. He says, if I'm going to expect my son to, uh, you know, really get down trimmer, he says, I've got to go with the program. Yes. So, he lost over 100 pounds himself. Well, as he gets older... Sullinger, he's going to lose more weight because he's not going to be able to keep up with the younger players. 49-41. 40 seconds to go in the first half. Crowder in that high two-man game. Thompson had to switch. He didn't have to switch that, though. Here comes Thomas going inside. Tristan Thompson all over. Sullinger able to clean it up, though. Yes. Sullivan's are following right in. That's a good move. Go to the front of the room. That's where all the action is. So Boston back within six. Showing why they're 29 and 22. And a plus two on the road this year. Five to shoot. Bradley switched on LeBron James. Sends it for three. Nope. Thompson tried to follow. Couldn't get it. Boston with time. Thomas knows the clock. Here comes Crowder. Steps into a three, and that will finish the first half. The Celtics were in danger of being blown back to New England, but kept their composure, fought their way back, and it's a six-point game at the break because they closed the second quarter 12-4. to four. Our Horseshoe Casino highest scorers, nobody in double digits for Boston. Kyrie and JR with 11 apiece on the Cavs side. Let's go over to Allie Clifton, who has Richard Jefferson. Thanks, Fred. RJ, you guys set the tone early in this one, but struggled to score over the final five minutes of the, the second quarter. Was it what Boston did defensively, or shots just not falling? Well, you want to give them credit. We had a, we had a couple of shots. Uh, sure Kevin had a tip at the, at the rim. Uh, uh, T-Top had a, had a tip at the rim. We just got to keep attacking, keep attacking. They're a good defensive team, a well-coached team. But for us, we have to continue, continue the pace that we've been preaching for the last couple of weeks. I think we slowed down a little bit. Boston not going away. You guys want to change the third quarter woes. What's the biggest message right now? Well, over the course of, uh, over the course of a year, you're going to have issues pop up. It could be a first quarter. It could be a fourth quarter. We just got to go out there and keep doing the things that we've been doing the last couple of weeks that have made us successful. RJ, appreciate your time. Thank you. When we return, we'll turn things over to Jeff Phelps, and yours truly will join him to break down that first half as the Cavs lead the Celtics by six here at the break. We'll be back right after this. Stay with us. Time for tonight's Lake Business taking care of business play as you meet uh, one of the new Cavalier assistants, and he has some time on the Boston staff with Doc Rivers. He's with Allie Clifton. All right, thanks, Fred. Joined by the newest Cavs assistant, Mike Long and Barty. And Coach, you're ahead of much of the defense under Coach Lou. And let's start there. You hold the Celtics as a team to 41% shooting. But what's been the key on Isaiah Thomas, just one of seven from the floor? I think we got off to a good start. We had some active hands. We had deflections. And we made him see a crowd. And uh, made all his shots relatively difficult. And then, obviously, we got to finish with the possession with the rebound. And once we do that, we can get out and run and play with the pace like Coach wants to. Coach, appreciate your time. Good luck in the second. Thank you. Guys, back out to you. All right, Elliot, Lake Business Products providing world-class service for over 50 years. Is Coach Longabardi basically handing the defense for Ty Lu, coming over from the Phoenix Suns. Right that, of course, with the Celtics, as I mentioned, is Amir Johnson starts the second half with a hook. So just his second field goal. And Boston within four. Let's see how the Cavs now come out of the shoot here in the third quarter. Struggling the last two games at Indiana and Charlotte in the third. 
LeBron James had it knocked out of bounds. 11 seconds of the shot clock. Well, the one thing that can help the situation is making shots. That has a tendency to get your adrenaline going. Down low, Sullinger with his hand on the ball. Cavs keep the possession. Cavs are outscored by 16 in the third in Charlotte, by 15 in the third at Indiana. A game they had to win in overtime. Right now, you can see Boston's energy level and defense is way up. The Cavs got to answer that with smart plays on offense. Force, use their aggression to your advantage. Kick ball added three seconds to the shot clock. Kevin Love, some space. Nope. Rebound into the hands of the Celtics. See it. Slow start offensively will keep the same situation happening for the Cavs. You've got to make some baskets. Here comes Amir Johnson way too, too easy. easy. Too easy. Ty Lu calls a timeout. And that's what he should do. Yep. 49-47. And you know they've talked about the third quarter malaise. Again, it's not been a seasonal problem just the last two games, but uh, big time in those two games outscored by 31. So it's a 16-4 surge by the visitors going back to the second quarter. It's a two-point game. A, as he did not have a double-figure score, Jay Crowder has not scored, but they've had plenty of guys get on the score sheet so far. Nine of ten have scored. Meanwhile, the Cavs have missed nine in a row. So, see well, if they can shake this off here. The, 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 I, the biggest problem I see, Fred, is not the energy level. It's, it's the defense. The Cavs come out of the locker room a slow step behind on defense. This is in the two third quarters just mentioned. So, Pacers and Hornets shooting 54% combined, but 29% shooting an offensive malaise as well. 16 games. So, you know, just... A big disparity on both sides of the floor. So see if they can get it fixed here. Need to see the ball go in the basket a little bit. Many times it's just as simple as that. LeBron, the pump fake stripped away by Sullinger. Here comes Isaiah Thomas to the rack. Knocked away by J.R. Smith, cleanly out of bounds. Good hand by J.R. It's tough to defend a guy like Thomas when he's coming full speed. J.R. gets his hand on the ball. Thomas is one of eight shooting so far. Bradley sends a three ball. That was for the lead. Offensive rebound, Emil Johnson. And they do have the lead. Avery Bradley, 50-49. Well, I tell you, I, 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 have not, I can't understand how all of a sudden they come out of the locker room and they act like they've never played the game before. No energy, no defensive, nothing. Seven straight points to start the third quarter. Harry almost walks. Good job to give it up. LBJ sends it. Yep. Shooting woes continue. Thomas oh, all the way on the repeat. We need another timeout. This team is falling apart. Wow. Boy. 52-49. And I, I think the lack of shots going down has yes, hurt it, their defense. Yes, it has. Not only tonight, but in the two prior games in the third. Curry sends it and hits it. Yeah, you're right, Fred. They got to see the ball go in the basket. Seems like that gives them energy. 52-51, but if you're built on defense, as everybody in this locker room believes they are, you can't elect your right. shooting and stretches of shooting affect your defense. Yeah, well, but, and, and that's the problem. Maybe we aren't built on defense. Songer using his strength, and he scored it. Jaron Songer taking his time. At Ohio State, he hated the fact he was double teamed all the time. Obviously doesn't see a lot of double teams at this end of the spectrum. 54-51 Celtics. They've not scored the Cavs by 18 since they were down 15. Love off the bounce. Nowhere near. And the Cavs are going to keep it, thankfully. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Iman Shumpert's going to check in, so will Timofey Mozgov. It's amazing how the third quarter's become a, 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 a dead zone for the Cavs. They just don't... Almost a mental block, maybe? Yes, it, it's, it's become that. Short term. But they, they don't come out of the locker room. They need to start a layup line when they come out the locker room just to get the juices flowing again. And I remember you talking about that several years ago. Yes. In Mike Brown's first stint as the head coach. Remember there was a stretch in one season the Cavs had the same thing in third quarters. As LeBron in the mid-range. So give LBJ 11. 
He's nearing that streak of 700 straight games in the regular season of double figures, now 688 in a row. Near steal by J.R. Smith. Crowder still without a bucket. Amir Johnson doing the job in the offensive glass. Second chance. Crowder again. Oh, oh no. no. Three chances he had. Wow. Boy. You don't get that in history class. But see, the, <laughs> at least but not see, where I went. But it, 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 that is the bad part of this whole thing. He got three chances, Fred. That is not acceptable. Jazz trying to regain the lead. Mozgov didn't want to chance that dribble handoff. Avery Bradley poking it away from JR. Got to give the ball up here. Six to shoot. LeBron measures Crowder, spins on him. Mozgov from 17. Oh, he shot. See that? What is wrong with the offense, though? Why can't they run it? Well, Bradley took him out of the rim, that's for sure. Thomas gives it up to Sullinger. Bradley backs out for three. Front iron it. Kaz finally gets that defensive board. LeBron crossing over. Inside. Blocking foul. Are they going to count it? They should. As he collided with Amir Johnson. Well, LeBron realizing that all has to come to the basket. The jump shot's not falling, so I got attacked. And he slid in front of LeBron. Right, he slides right with him. And LeBron draws a foul opportunity for three-point play. Not able to finish off the end one. 54-53. Cavs 7 of 14 from the line. He's leaving too many points there as Thomas scores. 56-55. Boston back in front by one. JR, quick trigger. Got it for three. That's JR Smith. But right they, ran, there. they ran a play. They got him to Moskov. They run a scissor cut. Did he get a jump shot? Thomas back the other way. Got it. Rebound to JR. Cavs trying to push it. LeBron James off that screen. Sullinger switched on him. LeBron wanted to back against Sullinger. Knows he's a lot quicker. Sizing him up. Checks the backside of the defense. Sends it. Nope. Yeah, Lears let him get bailed out there that time. Crowder on the catch. Sullivan's so having a three point ball to his arsenal, but not looking to shoot any here tonight. And we got a timeout for the Celtics. Right now, the pace is at Boston's, even though they play at a higher pace during the season. But you can tell. They want to grind this thing out here. Yes, they do. They don't want to get into a running game like they did in the first half. But J.R. Smith has been big. He leads everybody in scoring so far with 14. A difference of two. Cavaliers leading the Celtics. Trying to get back to that first quarter mojo when they had so much electricity going. Fox Sports is bringing all the fun of the Daytona 500 to your living room. Enter for a chance to win an HDTV. Host a great American viewing party for you and your friends. Visit foxsports.com slash Daytona Day to enter. Kyrie Irving returns. So they have three guards out there with Shumpert, J.R. Smith, and Kyrie. Mozgov and Jefferson fill out the five. Trying to match up with them. And now I want to see how Sullivan is going to do inside. Timo is going to have to stand up to him, make him shoot over the top. Use that size advantage. See if Sullinger tries to stretch him out to the three-point line. Sullinger has hit 19 this year. And the miss rebound to Shumpert. Off the weave. JR, tough shot. Missed it. Moskov from back tap. Second chance for the wine and golden. Kyrie Irving wants a screen for Shumpert. It was Jefferson. JR again. Good again for three. Where would they be without JR Smith? Well, you're going to stand there and watch him. JR does the eye. He's got three triples tonight. Actually, four. Sullinger, though, no. rebound of the Cavs. Jefferson will bring it down the floor. 
Kyrie in a cut. Mozgov to the hole. Flipped it up. How about the dexterity? The big fellow able to stop on a dime and lay it in. 63-56. In fact, I think he gave him a nickel change, didn't he? Because <laughs> I didn't think he was ready to make that stop. Yeah, the left hand, too. Here comes Thomas. Stopped on a dime. He missed it. A lot of loose chains on the floor. <laughs> Here comes Jefferson. He has feeling a possible run here. Bradley, great job defending. Shuffled behind the back to Moskov. Wanted a foul call. Didn't quite go up strong enough there. Right. He didn't. He couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do. All he needed was one more dribble. Right. Then the defense would have gave him. Uh, it would have told him what to do, but he, he was in between dribbles. Sollinger comes off the floor. A technical foul on somebody. Yeah, technical foul on Isaiah Thomas, who picks it up. That's his seventh of the season. Every point counts now. Oh, Kyrie, a rare free throw miss. So. Thomas will cool off. Watch in the middle of your screen here. Said an unmentionable. <laughs> and Steve Anderson said, okay. We're going to clean that up. Jair again. Front ironed it. Here comes Turner. On the floor for Thomas. Inside, five minutes to go in this third quarter. Good ball game here tonight. Jazz by seven. Turner trying to get to the rack, a bump, slaps it up there, was hoping for a whistle, didn't come. Latino did a good job of getting into his body on defense. Staying big. He doesn't block a lot of shots, but he can rim protect with that size. And, and that's the key, learning how to rim protect. That's all you need him to do. Rosca, nice give up. Equally to JR. Rebound surrounded by green shirts. He has been out rebounded tonight by seven. Again, that's not like them. No, the last, last couple games they've been having trouble. Yeah, Charlotte hammered them on the glass by 21. Smart inside. Like this Smart has five. Just 18 games earlier this season with a uh, toe injury and a knee. So the Cavs did not see him the last time these two teams hooked up. JR. Inside, Moskos, and I mean it, kind of throw down, and a foul. JR doing a good job of drawing the defense to him, and the big fella throws it. Man, I love it. Throw him in the hoop, big fella. Oh, I love it. That's how you got to play the game. Yep. You play the game to do it. I like it. And if you hurt some feelings along the so way, so be it. Let me, I'm going to hurt all the feelings out there. And the whole bench just erupted along with the crowd when he threw it down. See, those kind of plays is what gets your emotions going and gets your teammates fired up to play. Listen, everybody in this organization knows how important number 20 is in championship aspirations. Not able to get the end one, but Jefferson took a page from Mozgov's back tap recipe and knocked it back. 14-4, Kevin answer. Kyrie drew the double team. Shepard came to the ball. So did Love. Kevin looking for an open teammate. Yeah. Willie Passer down there as he goes on. Smart turns. Jump hooks for two. Did a good job getting the shot he wants. He knew he had a smaller player on him. And that's what you do when you have the advantage inside. And just the fact he was looking off, they had to guard him differently, didn't they? Yeah, well, we couldn't, they, they couldn't uh, 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 jump him or attack him like they normally do because he had his head up looking to pass. Kelly Linick back out there, getting greeted again. Turner against the taller Jefferson. Evan Turner pump fake, and he sold it. Always been a, a clever user of that tactic. Well, when you, you, know, you, you could tell that the foul was going to be called, he reached across the line. And he did it twice, and I thought that right, right there, there he yeah. reached, yep. and then he reached again. You knew that the call was coming. So Turner hitting the first of two. Hey, tomorrow the Cavs take on the New Orleans Pelicans at 7.30. All fans will get a LeBron fathead decal presented by the University of Akron.
and the LeBron James Sanders Foundation. Great seats are always available for every Cavs game at Cavs.com slash tickets. Cavs basketball is presented by Discount Drug Mart. 67-60. As Turner now off the bench has eight. He gives him almost 10 points a game. A bobble by Love. Closed upon by Turner. Kevin Love sold it. Escapes. No. Rebound. Nice job by Shepard to keep it alive. For Kyrie Irving. Shepard did a good job of keeping the ball alive. Kyrie delivers the good. Shep doing his thing. Smart the other way. Blocked by Miles Goff, but they're going to count the bucket. And there's also a foul as well. So an and one possibility now for Marcus Smart. Timo just missed getting it at the apex. Yep. Foul was on Miles Goff as well. Trying to force the issue. Yep. Yeah, that was the goal then. Yep. But Timo gets a hand. Going back to that thunderous throwdown a moment ago. Getting some gap on that bench. So Marcus Smart has eight. 69-63 the difference. Boston had that brief three-point lead. Inside two and a half to go in the first half. LBJ back out there. He's played 24 minutes so far tonight. Zeller off the bench as well. Kyrie against Bradley. Drew a double team, turned the corner. Shepard straight on. Nope. Jump came in the ball game, shooting 35% outside the arc. Off the miss, here comes LBJ. Love is down. So a 20-second timeout as a result. Oh. Steven Spiro over there to attend to Kalo. Behind the uh, backboard support near the Cavs bench. Let's see if we can uh, spot what happened. You know, it was an awkward fall, perhaps. Caught the hip. Now you see him. Oh, he got the. It looked like he hit the hip. Perhaps. Hit the hip area. Watch, because he he grabs it as soon as he runs into. Smart right there, then you can see him right. So I don't want to speculate in terms of uh, what he's suffering from, but Steven Spiro, the head athletic trainer, still there. Concerned for David Griffin, of course. For instance, Marcus Smart, hard to tell from that angle as well. It, 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 when you get hit in the hip like that, that is a that gets a little painful. They almost backside the hip. So still sitting. Take quick timeout and come back and uh, check on Kevin Love, at least on his feet, on the bench, being attended to. And we'll try to get an update from Alec Clifton as soon as we can. On a specific condition. Yeah, it, it's, it's a, it, the Celtics bench, for, they have 28 points off the bench. The Cavaliers only 13. So right now, there's a lot of pressure on the starters. But the starters have manhandled them tonight, head to head. Especially up front, we showed you that graphic earlier. It's now 24 to 14. They run back and down Turner, inside, blocked by Turner. Controlled by the Celtics. LeBron brought it back, and that enabled Turner to make the swap. Smart for three. Way short. He has control. Boston now four of 14 outside the arc. Got to take advantage of these opportunities, though. Jefferson. And he traveled. Moving that pivot foot before he made his move, and now Kevin Love heading to the uh, dressing room, hobbling, as you can see. Favoring that left leg. A little more than a minute to play in the third. Smart wanted to post up initially. There we 
and a foul on Kyrie Irving. So the Cavs are their final foul in the last two minutes. They're trying to post up, then he comes back and uses the pick. Kyrie trying to stay on top of the pick, draws the foul. Second foul on Irving. Zeller gave some uh, juice in the first half. Marcus Smart in traffic, floats it. Rebound to Tristan Thompson. So give him his sixth board. LeBron backs it out. He's 5 and 14 shooting so far. Getting to the rack, strip, and a foul by Tyler Zeller. Yeah, he was waiting for something to happen. And when the defender stayed back, watch, he comes here, he sees Tyler backing up, so he attacks him. So let's see if the Cavaliers can settle their free throw woes. They're 7 of 16 tonight. That's 44%. So they've left at least three or four points at the line. That one goes, not easily. <laughs> and LeBron is headed to the All-Star game, of course, along with the uh, Cavalier coaching staff. Celebrate with your very own LeBron James All-Star Swingman jerseys. Available now in both youth and adult sizes at the Cavs Team Shop. Shop online anytime at Cavaliers Team Shop. Com. And by the way, congratulations to Quinn Cook, the Canton Charge, named to the D-League All-Star game. He's had a great season. Yes, he has. Yep. Really putting up good scoring numbers. Knocked away, Shepard defending. Easy steal for LBJ. An offensive foul on the Cavs. On LeBron James. They didn't see what he did at the beginning. They come down. See, right there, he holds him up. He won't let LeBron run. No, then that's, that's a, a flop. That really is. Wow. That'll be interesting to watch for the next couple of days if they review it, which they will. Sometimes those uh, flop decisions come out a, a day or two later. Yes. But Smart's a very strong man. And he helps sell it. But again, they, they play good, solid individual defense. Oh, yeah, right? they do. I take my hat off to him. Yep. This team is a tough team to deal with. LeBron James oh. pump thinking. Rolls it off to Doug No. Second time. Second time he scored tonight. Second time of the round. Final seconds of the third. Turner head faking, juking, and scoring. The clever Evan Turner makes it 73 65. And the Shepard shot closes the third quarter. The Cavs do a good job, Fred, of coming back after they, the Celtics took the lead. And now going to the fourth quarter with eight-point lead. So a better third quarter for Tyler and company. We'll try to get an update on Kevin Love, too, when we come back. He has indeed back home. First of five in a row. Surrounding the All-Star break. They have scored the Celtics by two. And the Cavs lead heading to the fourth quarter. They're 28-2. and two. When Boston is down in this situation, they are 3-16. and 16, But... You got to earn it here against this gallant Celtic squad. Jefferson off the bounce. Nice move. Good move. He had a nice lane to the basket. Took advantage of it. But the Cavaliers did a good job of kind of getting rid of some of that those fourth quarter problems. The third quarter problems, rather. So hey, RJ was six. Three or four shooting. Stops and hits. So Isaiah Thomas has 10. On, excuse me, 12, rather. On 413 from the floor. That get away, Jefferson, no, short. And the Cavs are going to keep it. Kyrie Irving said, oh, I didn't know you needed the lob up there. You're right, he was looking for the lob. Yep, says, my bad. Miscommunication. Let's get an update on Kevin Love from Alley Clifton. Well, guys, we saw Kevin walk to the locker room on his own power, which was good news, but with that very noticeable limp, Unfortunate news tonight. Cavs say he will not return. They're calling it a leg thigh bruise. Fellas. All right, Alan Point. Two injuries occurring against Boston. This one uh, not nearly as severe, of course. Boy. As Jefferson on the miss. He has it 47% from the strike. Keep going back to that. But in the two Chicago losses, they've been basically because they did not hit their free throws. As Jefferson has seven. 76-67. Thomas elevates. And he was fouled. He'll shoot three times. See? And that's a tough foul because the one thing you don't want to do with Isaiah Thomas is get him started. 
And you get him started by making him shoot three three throws like that. Yep. You don't want to get him started. Right now, he's kind of docile. Let him stay that way. Don't make silly fouls like that. He's averaging 21 points a game this season. That's what got him into the All-Star game. Last spring in the playoffs, the Cavs held him to 33% shooting. He was 3 of 18 in three-point shots in that Cavalier sweep. Always been a good free thrower. Hey, don't forget, you can watch Cavs games on the go through most cable and satellite providers, including those for DirecTV. Go to the App Store on your mobile device and download Fox Sports Go or visit foxsportsgo.com for more information. So a trifecta for Thomas. Suddenly now he's got 15, and it's back to six. Good as Jarek go out there with Tyler Zeller, Evan Turner, Marcus Smart, and Thomas. Gary behind the back, great space. Left his hand funny. But this is where they have to trust the pass. Down the floor, Zeller tried to reel it in, did so enough to keep it alive. Knocked away by Jefferson. Zeller, the cleanup. They got to trust the pass now. It is down to the nitty gritty time, only four point lead. This is when you run your plays and execute. Yep. Irving elevates short. Zeller's helped him off the bench with 10. Turner trying to get to the rack, does way too easily. And a timeout for the Cavs. 76-74. Individual defense starting to become a problem. They've got 34 points off their bench. Turner and Zeller, who scored the last two, have combined for 22. Seven straight for Boston. Game again. Cavaliers basketball in Fox Sports Ohio is brought to you by your local Volkswagen dealers. Cavs have not been able to get out and run in transition in the second half. Just three opportunities over the uh, first near 14 minutes of the second half. Because the defense is not causing turnovers. So they don't, they're not looking at it. They're not looking for that because it's, it's not there. Evan Turner off the bench, showing why his number is going into the rafters in Columbus. He's got 12 points, very efficient, five of eight from the floor. He knows his role in the Celtics. Come off the bench, do what he does, instead of worrying about starting, as I'm sure that's behind him now. As he's found a fit with Boston. He's got 12 points, getting his team in the driver's seat, brought to you by Kia. And an offensive foul on Kyrie Irving. But the one thing, you have to take your head off to the Celtics. They only have one turnover in the last 43 possessions. That's why they're back in the game. Wow. A recipe for success, especially on the road. Didn't look like much there, but enough. See if the Cavs can get some of these turnovers that they feasted on in the uh, first quarter. Thomas elevates, and he hits a three. This what you feared. Yep. 77, 76 those, Boston. Those three foul shots got him going, Fred. LeBron James trying to get to the rack. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. So Smart still arguing that he should have gotten a jump ball out of it. So LeBron for a pair to try to give his ball club the lead again. Yeah. Cavs have to get back into swarming defense and active offense. Back in the 19th of December, these guys were 10th in the East. But they've gone 15 and 9 since, scoring 106 a game. And they began the night tied for third with Atlanta in the East. Well behind the Cavs, but still in one of those four home court spots as LeBron catches in a pair. Really? And the Cavs go back in front 78-77. It's going to be a nice game from here on out. Cavs have to be ready for a grinded out tight game. Zeller inside. <laughs> Defensive breakdown there. Yeah, definitely. Man, I, I don't understand why all of a sudden they can't play the way they used to play. All of a sudden this is confusing. Drepko picks up LeBron James. Ball switch. Jefferson. High hopping. Had to give it up. Martin Smart. Locks in on Kyrie Irving. Now they switch Turner on him. See if he tries a dribble drive. Sure does. Inside, Euro step. No. Didn't quite have enough on it. 
to finish it off. Thomas on the push. Selig's by three. Or by one, rather. To Repco baselining. And a three-second violation, I believe, on Boston. Yep, Kevlers get it back on to Repco. A 79-78 affair. Just the second turnover in the second half. Kevlers yeah, really dropping off from that 57 to down to 35. Got to see the ball go in the basket. That gives you energy. Tyler goes back to Timofe Mozgov. Again, they force a momentary switch. Pocket pass to Mozgov. He dumped it. That's how they roll. A nice roll and a nice throwdown. Got a big fellow. 80 79. Ty Lue pushing that button, going back to the big fellow. Feeling something right now. Turner off the screen. Rolls off to Mozgov. See if LeBron can take advantage of the matchup with Jerepko. Thomas hounding Kyrie Irving. See? In those situations right there, you pass it and get it back. Right, give it up. But see, it, it, the defense already knows what's happening when you hold it like that. Again, Mazda sets a solid screen. LeBron James breaks himself, and he draws the foul. Just that hesitation move drew the contact. He felt that one. Right across the face. Take an extra second here to get himself right. Yeah, once Zeller backed off of him, he went inside. Drevko with the foul across the face. Yeah, Drevko yeah. apologizing for getting him on the face. Trying to go for the ball. <laughs> uh, that was, if that had been a Cavalier, they would have looked at that place. You think so? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Those are the kind of plays they look at with the, for the Cavaliers. Tommy Heinsohn at home, probably saying, Austin, Kai, you crazy? <laughs> that was a flagrant foul. <laughs> Coming up in the next 72 tomorrow, the Cavs host the New Orleans Pelicans at 7. Then on Monday, catch an all-new Blue Jackets slap shots at 6, followed by the Cavs in action against the Kings at 6.30. All in the next 72 on Fox Sports Ohio. LeBron has that spin out. Cavaliers are not going to get it. Oh, it looked like Crowder hit it to hit the ball. 81-79. Thomas thought about it. The mid-range had a turn shot to pass. Marcus Smart front iron it. Good D by Jefferson. On that help out. I guess Thomas. And a offensive foul on the white out by LeBron James. Yeah, LeBron popped him. When he spun on him, he hit him with the backhand. To Marcus Smart. Let's see where the contact occurred. He's going to spin and watch the backhand right there. The ward off the hand to keep him off. He lays it right there. Yeah. Bit of a shove. Here comes Turner. The fall away. Short. Right. Oh. Zeller over the back. Oh, they're going to say a foul on Mozgov. Saying yeah. that he held Zeller. He was face guarding. Tell you wonder why Zeller's been in and out of the rotation the way he's played tonight. You're right. Very positive. See, face guarding right there. And not blocking out. All he do is turn his body. He would have been in good position. Thomas. Right hand dribble. Missed the shot. And an over the back foul. This, this time, time it's on Zeller. This time the call comes. But it's an interesting switch by Ty Lue to bring Mozgov back in when, right. he, when he felt that the, the size was starting to hurt the Cavs. Yes, and, and that's it. that was a good move there because the Cavs needed some rim protection. So the Cavs in the bonus now for the remainder of this fourth quarter. And you've got to take advantage of it, mean, meaning you run all downhill plays now. Pick from the top. Pick from the sides. All plays that are attacking the basket. Demon Shumpert returns. Out there with Jefferson, who's getting good run here tonight. JR returns as well. In that backcourt with Shumpert. Crowder back out there. 
JR took a peek at the shot clock. Plenty of time. The follow up. No. Moskov couldn't get that rebound. Claimed by Turner. Running the floor. Zeller. And a goal in. Tyler Zeller beat Moskov down the floor. I tell you, he's got 14 points. That's a season high for him. He just beats him down the floor. That's all he's doing. He's running the floor, basket to basket. And the Cavs, when they made the draft night deal with Dallas, knew they were getting a guy who could run the floor. All 94 feet. Zeller in a wrestling duel with Miles Goff. Seven to shoot. We got a foul. Count the bucket! Absolutely! LeBron James from the hinterlands. And a holding foul as well. Yeah, because Crowder, the, uh, uh, Miles Goff was trying to roll, and Crowder wouldn't let him roll. Watch right the pick. Right there, he's got an arm on him, wouldn't yep. let him run. Wouldn't let him move. And a smart play by LeBron, knowing that the foul was occurring to his right, heard the whistle, and still went up with his shot. They're going to review it to make sure that it's a three as opposed to a two. And also, I'm sure the timing of the foul here. You're right. Was it before his upward shooting motion? He didn't blow the whistle until LeBron was in his motion, I think. Yeah, I think so too. We'd almost have to hear it along with the replay. So that's the key issue here. So it's the referee's call here, not in Secaucus. Deeming when the contact occurred, the foul, was it before? So they're going to say no basket. Take away the three ball. So they're saying before the upward shooting motion. So there's the foul right there. Yeah, right. That was a good call. Yep. He had gathered, but you have to be in the upward shooting motion. And let's listen. So the foul actually came during the upward shooting motion. So Miles Goff at the line for two. So take away that LeBron James three ball. Team at the line this year, 77%. These free throw misses. My goodness. I'll tell you. That's 12 they've missed at the line tonight. They'd change the whole game if they just make half of them. Two misses. Boy, I'll tell you. Unbelievable. 13 of 26. This team is, is in a little bit of a funk. Just hope it doesn't come back to bite them. You're right. Cavs Norm for free throwing is 73%. And that's 24th in the league. Turner jumps. No. Rebound to Jefferson. Down the floor. Touchdown on the mark to LeBron James. Maybe that'll make Kevin Love feel a little better. Yes. So give LBJ 22. Always looking to get that easy basket. You've got to have a lot of those. At least four or five a game. 83-81. Turner. Kansas goes up, puts it down. He's fouled. Evan Turner. Now see, every time it's not a vertical situation. That time you have to go for the ball. With him coming across the lane like that, you don't have to go vertical. You gotta go and get that shot. Because Turner is, is not that much of a high wire player? Hey, right, right, because where, where he's coming at an angle, Fred, to where you don't have to go vertical. You can actually go after that ball. And just create a tough angle for him to shoot. Exactly right. And look at Turner, double double. So give him 15. He's got seven in the quarter. Boston back in front. Halfway through the fourth. Come on, you gotta move. LeBron on the ISO. Sends Jefferson the ball. For three. No. 
Cavaliers shooting 42%. Remember they were red hot in the first quarter. Thomas stripped by Shepard twice. Shop, he shopped him. He a double him. shump. <laughs> a double shump. Shump squared, I guess. Here comes Jefferson, tightrope walking, had it blocked. Got it back, plenty of time in the shot clock. Does LeBron shoot another three from there? Yes. Different results. And a foul. Across the top of the head by Richard Jefferson. Fourth Cavalier team foul. As the Cavs now able to cash in a couple of clean strips by Mon Shepard. They're down one. We'd be here. It's Sweaty Palms time though. Didn't expect it because the Cavs led by 15 early, but in a dogfight here with the Celtics with 5.17 left. Let's check our Spitzer Otter Group game summary that Chronicle JR Smith's night visually and verbally. He's 6 of 13 for 17 points. Evan Turner has been huge off their bench. He's 6 of 12 for 15 to go with his 10 boards. And oh, by the way, 6 assists. And LeBron James has 22. You're right, and it, it, they've done a lot of things, Fred, but you just can't seem to get out of their own way tonight. For some reason, every time they get a lead, they give it up. They can't make, they, 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 pop, they can't op, op, execute the plays. You have to give Boston a little credit for that because their defense has been superb in the half court. He hasn't been outscored by seven since Kevin Love went out with the leg ailment. But since that first quarter, Cavs shooting just 35%. Remember, they started 57 in the opening 12 minutes. Sullinger had an absolute cheapy foul from Tristan Thompson in the back. Yeah, but at this point in the game, cheap foul is going to hurt you. Yep. I mean, because all they got to do now is start making free throws, and, and, and the Cavs are, are in trouble. And they've made their free throws. They're 15 out of 15. Well, it worked, didn't it? <laughs> Sorry to do it to a Buckeye. Well, say it again. <laughs> well, they're now 15 of 16. <laughs> they're 78% as a team for the year. That's 12 best. And as Sullinger gets the second. 85-83. We have five minutes to decide this ball game. Got to get it moving. J.R. Smith wanted to go back to LeBron, but a nice pick up by Avery Bradley. In the right spot on the rotation. Good, good move. Now, LeBron against Turner. Has his dribble. Got to go to work. Backing him down. Shepard puts on the deck. Got to hurry. Not in time. Play broke down. And that's where you got to give Avery Bradley a lot of credit. He bogged down that Cavalier offensive set that time. They have more intensity than the Cavaliers on both ends of the floor right now. How's that happen? Uh, that's just the way Boston plays. And, and the Cavs got to find a way to match that energy. And they're getting they're getting mismatches and taking advantage of them. Sullinger backs inside. Count it. Cavaliers getting outworked. Well, Sullinger so looking for the end one here. Fred, when you switch and you don't have to switch, you get in trouble. I mean, there, it should have been a correction before JR even got in that position. Somebody should have been down there, but they're playing small ball now, so they got to find a way to make this work. 427 left. Sullinger gives Boston the lead. Their largest spread, 88-83. And this unit right here has been logging a lot of time, Fred. They're not, they're not really resting enough to make a, a, a long run. They got to make it count. Jair crossed over, gets inside, flips it up. No. Everything going Boston's way. Got to stop the ball. They didn't stop the ball. Turner gets all the way to the hole. Crowd deeply concerned now. Cavaliers getting beat at home. Well, they should be a concern. LeBron flips it up and in, soft touch. So give him 24, 90, 85. Here comes Turner. He's been a major headache tonight. 
Backs out, flips it up, rolls it across into the hands of Kyrie Irving. Boston dropping back. Kyrie trying to shake the D. Gets inside, had it belted. That time he got to give it up. He's got to give it up. Here comes Thomas to the hole, and he was fouled. Kyrie slow to get up. Tried to force something, just wasn't there. And trying see, to walk it off. Understanding the situation is where we are now. Now, I know what he's trying to do, but you got three green shirts right there. Yeah, nowhere to go. And it's not an unselfish play. He, he's trying to make a play for his team. Right. As they've struggled to score in the second half. So the intentions are certainly correct. But you have to understand the situation that you're in. JR got hit in the face there. He's okay. As Thomas at the line for two. The Lewis has really dug themselves a hole here. Fred and uh, not much time left in the way they've been playing it, it, it's a tough comeback from here now tonight it's been a fourth quarter issue as they have just 12 well with the unit they have in there they don't practice a lot together so everything is going to be trial and error so you have to kind of get back into executing your plays in order to have good looks because otherwise the defense is just going to, when LeBron gets it or Kyrie gets it, they're going to all load to the ball. Jazz came with a two-game lead atop the East. Toronto won last night in Portland. Backside, Shumper needs one to go. Gets it for three. Big-time bucket for Shumper. Boy, that was huge. 92-88. His first triple since late in December at Minnesota. Doesn't shoot a ton of them. But he knocked it down confidently. Turner ran into his own man. Yeah, JR pushed uh, Sullivan. Oh, boy, it puts him at the free throw line. Sullivan, rather. He pushed Sullivan. Mm, mm, mm. Boy. So JR trying to shake it off. Cavaliers trail by four with two free throws coming. Yvonne Shump, big time bucket. 252 left here at the queue. Three minutes to play. Cavaliers trailing the Celtics by four. It's 92 to 88. Welcome back to the queue, everybody. Jeff Phelps along with Campy Russell. Cavs have been outscored, Campy. 27 to 15 here in the fourth quarter. What's been happening? Well, Jeff, it's, it's two sides. The Celtics are executing. Cavaliers are not. Cavaliers got too many guys standing around. The ball have to move. And when guys are open, they must take the shot. And then second thing, Jeff, they must be solid defensively because the Celtics, again, is running the offense. Make sure you join us after the game. It's Cavaliers Live presented by Liberty Ford. We'll hear from sure. Teron Liu. We'll go inside the locker room. Cavaliers trying to get this one against the Celtics, guys. So Sellinger obliges again. This is the first of two. And a four-point gap. Yeah, and again, Campy's right. You, you want to get into moving the ball because everybody's attention is, is, is right on time now. Oh, he got a break. Sellinger missing both. So a jinx carryover. Yes. <laughs> Here comes the run on the give up. JR fires. Got it! Big time bucket! 92-91! Move the ball, move body. Good things happen. Cavs within one, two and a half at a ticking fourth quarter clock. Maybe they'll give the Cavs a boost. Shuffle on Thomas. Slithering into a shot. No, we're near. Cavaliers a chance now to take the lead. Crowd trying to will him home. LeBron James fouled on the drive. That'll put LBJ at the strike. But JR, a huge bucket a moment ago after a couple of frustrating fouls that went against it. You're right, because they moved the ball. And when you move the ball, JR is a good catch and shoot player. But you, you, you eliminate him when you don't move the ball. So LeBron at the line to try to give his guys the lead. 92 on. Join the Monsters for Cleveland Rocks night, Saturday, February 20th at the Q. Team will wear special throwback Barons jerseys, and the first 10,000 fans get a T-shirt from PNC Bank. For tickets, visit LakeRiverMonsters.com. Monsters powered by Consolation. Got it. Cavaliers fighting back, though. They're not giving in. 
93-92. Isaiah Thomas. Shepard digs in. Sollinger, solid screen. Thompson had the switch on Thomas. He missed it! Tristan Thompson was there! Back come the Cavaliers. They're going nuts here. LeBron James going to work. Double clutches off the glass, and he was fouled. Two more for the King. Well, LeBron knew that Crowder was going to be on him, and once he felt Crowder up on him, he realized he had the, the opportunity, and Crowder opened up to him and gave LeBron that driving lane. LeBron has drawn nine whistles here tonight. Crowder, see right there, he opened up. Once LeBron felt him open up, attack him. Short on that one. One more coming. He's got nine in the quarter. This for a two-point lead. Ninety-four, ninety-two. This, this has been a good game for him. Yep. Both teams are playing hard. Got a little playoff feel to it. Thomas, and he was fouled on the body before LeBron James pummeled it. Foul on Tristan Thompson grabbing the arm. So now Isaiah Thomas, who is money in the bank at the line, we'll coming off here. Pick. Yeah, you see, he, he reached to grab him on the shoulder. So Thomas, who is nine of nine to the line tonight, has 20. He's had to work for his 21 points. I say that because he's 5 of 18 from the floor. Marcus Smart returns. Turner Selinger, the pair of Buckeyes sit down. Zeller out there. Just to retie it. And he got it. So give Thomas 22, 94 apiece. You don't want to get stagnant again. You got to keep JR in play with the catch and shoot. They're going to turn the corner. Inside, one man to beat. Puts it up. And in! And one for the King! LeBron James turns the corner and his straight to the hoop. Gets the foul. The ball goes in. Opportunity for a three point play. Turn that corner, young man, and the L train to the hoop. So LeBron James looking for point number 30. He scored the last six, and he's got 30 for the 12th time this season, which usually is a portent of good things to happen. They're eight and three when he gets 30. And right now in takeover mode in the fourth quarter, he's tied James Harden for the league lead in and ones and a 97-94 advantage. Well, they've done a good job, Fred, defensively. The, 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 their defense has stepped up in the last two minutes. As we promised earlier, it's Miller time, brought to you by Miller Lights and the kid from Akron. Dominating things, especially down the stretch. Well, he knows one thing. All the money is at the hoop. And LeBron knows where that is, and he's attacking the basket. He scored the last six Cavalier points. Got that big JR free ball in there as well, but attacking the body first of Zeller. And then they went ballistic. Well, he did that little extra step to the right. That gave him the angle to bank it. He's the other Cavalier Mr. fourth quarter, of course. Second best in the league at nearly eight points per game in the fourth quarter. And 13 tonight. And the Cavaliers, I think, Fred, they needed a game like this if they can pull this one off because this will get their energy level going again to finish off this homestand. This is LeBron's 13th double-figure fourth quarter game this season already. A buck and a half left. Long launch, no. Zeller couldn't control the rebound. Tristan Thompson says he'll take that for yeah. the teammate. Nice possession here. He let, let, let the ball touch two or three hands. LBJ working a little clock here. 
spread floor. He wants high pick and roll. Comes from Thompson. Zeller, lean back. LeBron James again. Too high. Tristan Thompson says, I got your back. Cavaliers by five. And he did exactly what the big man should do. Run to the front of the rim. Here comes Thomas trying to get to the rack. Had a high arc. No! Zeller on the final. Boy, has he been big tonight. Yeah, he's been huge for them tonight. Tyler's got 16, 8 in the quarter, 99, 96. Not done yet. Boston does not have to foul. Difference of 25 seconds between the two clocks. Here comes LBJ. Final second, steps into a three. No, too hard. JR rescues the rebound. That was huge, man. Now Boston will have to foul unless they can get a steal. And they foul the wrong man, Kyrie Irving. They're all on their feet. 20,562. JR is known for his jump shooting. But believe me, that rebound is huge for the Cavaliers, especially the way things have been going. Sometimes you can win other than shooting the ball for JR. Kyrie sticks the first. 196. Couple more gulps of air. Cavs were down seven in the fourth quarter after beginning the fourth of the lead. And LeBron James pressed play. Good. Back to back for Kyrie Irving. Cavaliers by five. He knows the moments, doesn't he? And he loves big moments. In front of a Friday night full house downtown. Don't underestimate the plays that J.R. Smith has made tonight. Including maybe the biggest one there, or one of the biggest ones anyway. I agree with you, Fred. The offensive rebound. J.R. again, when you stop moving the ball, it takes away J.R. out of the play because he's a catch and shoot guy. But when you're moving the ball, J.R. becomes a third weapon, and he's a dangerous third weapon. But LBJ getting great support from J.R. tonight. That last three was a humongous bucket, one of his biggest this season. And then here's his offensive board. And this was probably better than the jump shooting because that was a huge opportunity for the Cavs to go up by five with Kyrie making the two free throws. Let's go, Cavs goes up. Cavs on a 16-4 binge when it looked like they were teetering. But not quite tottering. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're going way back now. <laughs> 18 and a half left. <laughs> Crowd has been huge down the stretch, boy. Bradley, a lot of dribbling. Has to hoist the prayer. No. Another chance for the Celtics. Crowder finally gets his first bucket tonight. 101.99. And a foul. Stops the clock with eight seconds left. And Kyrie will go right back to the free throw line. Yeah, the Cavs had a solid defensive effort that time, but the Celtics are game tonight. They're, the, they're hanging in there tough, trying to find something there. Good recognition by Sullinger. And Crowder probably hits the one shot he had all evening at the crucial part of the game. 7.5 left. Carry the first. Well, they had problems with free throws until it all counted. The carries and DeBron both stepped to the line hit some very important free throws. So one more coming. This would be the huge one to make a two-possession game out of it. ball and a timeout in his career in the last 24 seconds of regulation in a game within three he's now 90 percent from the free throw line uh, now that's called closing it out <laughs> and we met the other night how he's been perfect in his career in overtime 32 of 32 and he's always talked about just living for these moments 
you know, if, on another a thought, Fred, if Love is going to be out any time, the Cavs bench is going to have to start producing. They got to start producing because with Love's numbers out of the equation, they're going to need bench production. Ironically, Cavs, seven of the last eight points have come from the free throw line after they were at 50%. Right. The homestand, New Orleans here tomorrow. They're coming off a uh, tough home court loss to the Lakers, so they'll be in a nasty mood. Marcus Cousins, a triple-double tonight. He's an all-star for the second time. We'll see him Monday with Rajon Rondo, the ex-Celtic. And Kobe comes to town on Wednesday. Then the all-star break in Toronto. As uh, Saran James and the coaching staff going north of the border. And then the Chicago Bulls. And definitely payback in mind for those guys. That was Teron Lou's first game as a head coach when they lost here on a Saturday night. And a uh, off-shooting night. Well, you know, Fred, we talked about... The Cavs not moving the ball when they need to move the ball. Tonight, they did it, Luke. They started to do it now. They made a, a couple good offensive plays when they needed them and, and got more guys involved, and it's starting to come slowly but surely. But they're starting to understand how important it is to move the ball in bodies when you need in your hour of need. 7.5 to go. Turner to the hole and he was fouled. The last thing the Cavs wanted to do there was give him an and one. JR knows it. 5.9 left. You just gotta let Turner have it. Yeah, you're right. You, you, you should let him have it. There's no reason to, to be even there to defend him. Boy, not much contact. My goodness. Boy. Not enough. Mo Williams will check in as an extra ball handler and supreme free thrower. Mozgov will check in as well. Just amazing that this is coming down to this situation. Well, that's been uh, the Celtics M.O. under Brad Stevens as they've grown. Just a lot of uh, feistiness physically and, and tough mentally. Turner missed it though. Oh, and it goes to Boston. 103-101. Now they got a chance to tie. They're going to review it, though. Yeah, good. But the Cavs could not control the rebound. And right now, it's Celtic ball, pending the review. Man. I tell you, see, these are the type of things that, that they just tell me that the Cavs are just not mentally focused when they should be. They're having problems trying to. Yeah, Timo's got to control that. You got to control that ball. This couldn't couldn't grab it. He had the position right there, just off his hands. But see, again, a lot of this comes from not making people respect you as a physical player. They don't respect you; they're going to attack you. See who touched it last? Looked like off the hip of LeBron. So it's going to be Boston ball. And with this team, you've got to worry about the, uh, the three-point shot as exactly, well. Exactly right. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Had the four-point lead when Evan Turner got to the rack, was fouled. The, the Cavs have worked too hard in this game. They have to come down to this situation, Fred. I mean, it, 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 to me, it's like they're going backwards compared to the team they were last season. 3.7, switch to 4.1. Sullinger out there with Bradley, Thomas, Turner, and the inbounder Crowder. Jefferson, Thompson, LeBron, Shumpert, and Kyrie Irving. The one thing about Thomas, you got to make him go to his right. Can't let him have that left side. Thomas has the basketball, gives it up, swarming for Bradley. Oh my gosh. That's the ball game. You gotta be kidding me. Man, I'll tell you. Avery Bradley just stole the game and the Cavaliers lose 104-103. My goodness. Wow. Will you? An absolute Celtic heist. On the road, you go for the win, and that's what they did. Yep. Shumpert. Did not want to 
chance of foul, and Bradley wound up with the open look and buried it. Well, back to the drawing board. There's work to be done, a lot of work to be done. First of all, they got to repair their focus and emotional state of mind. Right now, the Cavs are not playing emotionally sound and not playing with energy that they need to play with to make it work. And a lost rebound on a missed free throw leads to the game-winning bucket for the Boston Celtics. Big timeout, but tomorrow night they get the Pelicans right here at the Cube.